Hey guys, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been working on. On the farms every once in a while I see that uh, people are looking for physical display devices for Kerbal Space Program. So I started to design one. Uh, currently, this is what it looks like. Granted, this is a very early prototype. It supports up to 64 7 segmented LED displays for various different um, information about the spacecraft. Uh, currently what I have programmed right here is a radar altimeter and then we also have your current uh, velocity both orbital and surface. Um, it supports currently up to, which is extremely expandable, 64, um, not 64, 6 analog displays. Over here this is your voltage on the aircraft and over here is liquid fuel I'm going to be adding on um, oxidizer, uh, intake air, as well as uh, monopropellant as analog displays as well, analog meters. Um, I'm going to be expanding this out to add two more banks of LEDs for both the uh, apoapsis and periapsis. So that's going to be in a future update soon to come but here let me give you an example of how it works so the entire display works off of USB custom USB drivers um, when we plug it in this is all stuff that uh, has been custom made and programmed to work with Kerbal Space Program so I can get this in plug it in you will see that it's starting to install the drivers for, sorry that's so blurry there we go, KSP display turns over to USB input device once it's in there um, what we'll do, I want to make this a little clearer is we'll start KSP up now the only thing that you need um, obviously in order for this to talk to the USB device it's making some native calls so right now the USB driver that I created only works with Windows um, but uh, I'm gonna port that over to Mac and Linux as well uh, it's fairly a simple driver for it so not to worry but it is native calls out of a plugin so there's two separate DLLs obviously the DLL for the plugin and then another separate DLL for the native calls to send information over the USB. I'm going to show you one with a flight in progress. It works on every type of device as long as you put the KSP display device, I mean part, on the spacecraft. So let me go ahead and start up a already orbiting spacecraft to give you kind of an example of what this looks like. So, let's go over here to the Space Center, and I have a stock spacecraft orbiting that all I did was throw this device on. You'll see, once uh, the part loads, all the information will start to be sent to the KSP display. So right now the radar altimeter is reading 9999, obviously because we are in orbit, and here is the current uh, speed of the spacecraft as you'll see um, that speed will vary right now I'm in a steady orbit so it's going about 2200 meters per second squared uh, over here we have our um, voltage and here is the current uh, liquid fuel that's in the spacecraft and if I take a look up here at the resources you will see that this is accurate information and here it is displayed on the analog displays and as well as the speed that it's orbiting if we take a look 2213 2212 now but this is um, basically what I want to do is turn this into what the Apollo what looks like the Apollo astronauts computer Somebody's car alarms go off. So what I'm going to show you right now is some other cool things that I added in. Um, we're going to create what's known as a um, master alarm error. 
um, when right now you can program in as many master alarms as you want and uh, the one that I'm going to show you right now is what happens when your fuel drops below uh, 10% so what I'm gonna do is actually get in a D orbit so you can also see the radar altimeter work so we'll get into a D orbiting burn and I'm gonna start burning you'll watch the fuel go so I'm starting to burn obviously this little engine does not use it fuel that quickly see our electric is fine our voltage is fine seeing we are de accelerating so I'm gonna keep burning until we get into what's known as an alarm condition I'm gonna take those inlets out and replace them with uh, inlets that say liquid fuel I'm gonna have oxidizer and like I said this is a very very early prototype of this device that I'm creating now the main goal behind this device let me lower this just a little bit the main goal behind this device is to create a complete package that um, anybody can purchase and have physical displays for Kerbal Space Program. So we'll see, we're about to hit an alarm condition. Right now I just set this at 10% fuel, creates an alarm condition. So as we can see, the orbiting's happening. We're about to hit 10% fuel, which will trigger an alarm condition right about now. There we go, we have a master alarm. That means we, we are currently low of fuels, we should investigate what's going on. We have a master alarm silence, so we can take a look, but the master alarm stays on. And we are out of fuel. We are still deorbiting, I'm gonna just speed things up here a little bit. And we'll watch the radar altimeter drop as I start to come in. Blitzed out there for a second. So as this burns down, we're going to see that everything is starting to drop. Here's the radar altimeter. Very useful on moon landings, as you can see as it gets closer. And um, the speed, obviously, of the aircraft is decelerating as well. Sorry about that break in footage there. And... As you get closer, obviously this is the radar altimeter readout, so you'll see that this will eventually crash. Now the readout stops once the, obviously the spacecraft has been destroyed. Uh, if I move down at a slower rate of speed, um, you can do a successful landing and that'll read zero and everything does work. Once the spacecraft has crashed though um, all of the settings until you go to another spacecraft remains uh, constant. Another spacecraft that's got the KSP display on it. Um, I'll show you a launch real quick. Let's go to the Space Center. Um, just give it a second. If we go to the Kerbal X on the pad, we will see, actually this might be the launched one that I already had, so it could be nothing except for, oh no, here we go. Alright, so as you can see, everything has been reset, the alarm condition is now off, the master alarm is, is back on audible mode, and um, during just a regular launch, you'll see, uh, there we go, speed's increasing, fuel is depleting, and uh, that's pretty much the KSP display that I'm working on. And, um, you know, as I, uh, 
as I continue to create, I don't know why, the altimeter doesn't really work that well over KSP. It's, it's not the KSP display, it's um, something with the game when the, I'm grabbing information about the radar altimeter, but whenever you're over the actual uh, Kerbal Space Center, it doesn't really read out. I don't know if it's a glitch in the game, but everywhere else in the game the altimeter reads fine, or once you get above a certain altitude, it does read out fine, but here's that fuel being depleted, and that's the total fuel left in the liquid fuel left in the spacecraft itself. You'll see once you get about to about 10,000 meters, this uh, will just stay at nines, and the speed will continue to increase. So that's it. I just wanted to show you what I'm working on. I will continue to have updates once I have the periopsis and the apoapsis in. Um, you'll see them read out as well, as well as other um, analog meter displays. I'm going to be adding about four more analog meter displays, and like I said, I'm going to take out the the basically what you see behind here, this piece of paper that has just a scale on it. I'm going to replace it with liquid fuel full and empty uh, the same with others the voltage I might actually leave uh, but I might just have it say zero volts and full volts but that's it guys thanks for watching please um, if you like this project and you want me to continue on it the more feedback that I get obviously the more uh, motivation I'll have to continue to add more things to the KSTP display and like I said the ultimate goal is to create a very cheap physical uh, display for KSP that um, you know anybody can purchase and you can just plug it right into your USB port uh, throw the plugin into your plugins folder and um, you know have a good time enjoy it and uh, it'll be real nice alright thanks guys Bye.